NZYQ came into this country under the Labor Party because they lost control of the borders. They were warned about this because we had sovereign nation. Sorry, Senator Hanson, resume your seat, please, Wait, Minister. Senator Hanson, just to try to be helpful, the bill That's went. The bill, the bill went. Rele relevance, relevance, relevance. The bill we're dealing with. Mike. The bill we're dealing Minister. with is not about NZYQ. Minister. That was yesterday. Minister, resume your seat, Senator Hanson. I referred to the minister. He he brought up NZYQ in his response. Senator Cash. The minister brought up NZYQ in his response, and going back to Peter Dutton, the minister Dutton at the time. So don't stand and tell me this is not relevant. It's very relevant because when I hear these comments in this chamber that you are misleading the Australian people, I will not have it. If blame stands at your feet, then take the blame at your feet and stop backing away from it and try and mislead the Australian people. NZYQ ended up in this country because of the poor laws that you had and we had boatloads coming here, over 800 boats that came to the shores of this nation. And that's why we ended up in the mess that we are now. This has to be dealt with. And I'm sick and tired as the Australian people is, is the blame going across this chamber. The coalition have tried to put up amendments to strengthen it so this, this doesn't keep happening because the, the Australian people have had enough. And to sit here and listen to the Greens, how righteous they are, they actually wanted to open up the floodgates for 50,000 refugees. They would have welcomed everyone into the country. Can you imagine that? We can't even look after our own people in this nation. We can't even look after and make sure they've got housing or food on their table. How the Australian people are suffering. But let's open up the floodgates, regardless of whether these are true refugees. Let's just open up because, you know, they should be allowed to come into the country. That's their attitude. Over 50,000 refugees that they will open up the floodgates to. Where are they going to live? Who's going to feed them? Will they be on the welfare? Will they ever work? Are they compatible with our, with our national identity, with our culture, with our way of life? Are we going to have that many problems in this country that we see happening in other countries around the world where they can't control these illegal refugees? They've got no, no control over them whatsoever. Oh, I'll take that injection. They're not illegal refugees not illegal refugees. We have immigration policies. We have a right to control who comes into this country. That's what it's all about, to protect our identity, who we are as Australians. We have a right to say yes or no, and that's exactly what this chamber and the other place has tried to do in this chamber. There is a, there is a, a way you, you apply to be a migrant to this country. You go through a process. That's the way it's done, not to just have people come in here. Now, I've, uh, so the Greens have just completely lost me, and I wish the people would really understand what they stand for. Every time I hear them stand up in this chamber, I don't hear them standing up and fighting for the Australian people at all. Not at all. It's always about refugees, other countries, everyone else around the world. You know, the, the portrayal that you showed to the Australian people. I wish they really understood what you stand for. And uh, I don't believe you, you represent the Australian people fully. You're worried about everyone else but the Australian people.